Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony here today with another tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to keyframe text or titles in Final Cut Pro X. Now, right now, if I play this, it's cool. The text pops up. It definitely sticks out. The text is kind of just moving with the video. It's not really, you know, it's just kind of there. What we're going to do with keyframing is we're going to make the text a part of the video and we're going to make it stay in the same exact spot. One of the big things that you're going to need to know with keyframing, especially if you've never done it before, is you're going to want to use your keyboard to help you. Specifically, what you're going to want to use is the arrow keys, the left and right arrow keys. If you use the left arrow key, you can skip one frame at a time toward the beginning of the timeline. If you use the right arrow key, you can skip one frame at a time toward the end of the timeline. So we're going to want to go to the beginning of this clip here. In using our arrow keys, we're going to want to figure out the very first frame where our text pops up and it's right there. So that's the very first frame where the text pops up. See, it's not in that frame, but it is in this frame. We're going to want to mark it with a keyframe. The way to mark it with a keyframe is by going up to the marker here and you'll see add a new keyframe at playhead. So the playhead is our red line there. So yes, that's what we want to do. We're going to tap that. And as you see, we now have a keyframe with a little X next to it. Now that we've marked that, what we've basically done is we've picked where our text is going to begin. At this point, we can still adjust it. So say we want the text to stay right here the whole time, the whole time. That's where it's going to be. We're going to go to the very last frame where our text is still showing and we're going to take our text with the little plus symbol here and we're going to drag it to the same exact spot where it was sitting in the very first frame. So basically the same spot that it was sitting here to do that. We're going to take our plus symbol and we're going to just bring this straight down to where it was sitting, which I believe was like right there. And you'll notice that from the arrow here, you'll see a line that indicates where it'll be moving while the video is moving. See that? So that it gives the illusion that it's not moving at all. See how that works? So even though the camera was moving, the text was not. But that is how you keyframe text within Final Cut Pro. I hope that this was helpful for you guys, and if it was, definitely subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.